Hello everybody. Uh, last week we have learned some basic concepts about polymer. So do you guys still remember what exactly polymer is? Max, what about you? Yes. Uh, polymer would be uh, an uh, elastomer. It's like a product of um, uh, two components. Part A, part B, which could be like um, isotheanate and polio, for example. Yeah, okay. So let's do some warm up and we'll figure out, figure it out together. Actually, to um, express it in a uh, more professional way, polymer is kind of a um, large molecule that composes of many repeating structural units. And um, Let's go over the simple structure of uh, polymer first. Here are some small molecules, and they, they they can bond with each other via chemical reaction. So here are the bonds, and there are millions of these kind of small molecules, and together they can form a large molecule, which is just like a monster. So here we got our um, uh, polymer here, uh, and we also call it macromolecule. Um, so actually, these small molecules can be either different molecules or the same molecules. And different molecules and different ways of bonding and can lead to different polymer with different structure and properties. So today we are going to start further about the structure and their application in daily life about the polymer. So let's um, see here. Actually there are three, three uh, basic construction, uh, basic uh, structure of polymer. And the first one is the um, linear polymer. And um, as you can tell from its name, this, the structure of this kind of polymer is actually it is linear. So uh, let's see the structure of this kind of polymer uh, like this. And the basic form of this kind of linear polymer in our life is um, like the plas plastic stream roll. I mean, uh, the <coughs> Rope. and uh, they're made from uh, plastic. So uh, because they, they, of their special structure, they have uh, they can be extremely tight and strong in uh, one this dimension. However, in the other dimension, they can be uh, very weak and fragile. Um, let me put it this way. Uh, inside, inside the structure of a plastic stream of rope, there are many linear polymer. So, if we pull, if we, if we, if we pull the stream this in this dimension, they can be um, much more. They can be tighter and stronger. However, if we pull the uh, stream in this way, this kind of polymer, they uh, they can tear apart into uh, smaller pieces. So here is the examples of linear uh, polymer. And here comes the second uh, structure about uh, our polymer. That's uh, branch polymer. And here we we see the structure. Uh, like uh, linear polymer, they have a main chain, main chain about their structure. However, they also got some extra branch, like this. So with this this branch structure, this kind of polymer can have um, very special properties. Um, take the uh, take um, the most common uh, the most common form of the, the branch polymer in our lives is uh, starch. 
Do you guys know what, what is Dutch? Actually, it's uh, pretty common in our food. And um, about 80% of this Dutch is uh, French polymer. And, but because of this uh, French structure, the uh, polymer uh, will not be soluble in water. However, they can also they, they will be uh, a little bit stuck, sticky um, when we put water on it. So that's why we are able to uh, make bread, uh, the tasty bread and uh, Italian pasta or pizzas. And the, those food will not disappear in water while we are making that. So here is the branch part. And the last one I going to introduce is uh, Cross-link cross -link polymer, and um, let's see the structure of cross-link polymer first. Like linear polymer, it has um, many linear uh, main chains also. However, this chain, this chains can uh, link with each other while chemical bond. So you can see here they are linked together. So um, what properties can you guys expect from this kind of polymer? Max. Good shear resistance because of the cross linking. Yeah, they can be uh, really stable. Uh, they can be very stable because of the cross linking. One minute. Okay, so um, the, um, the so the most common form of the cross link polymer in our lives is uh, the tie of our cars and the switch, if electric switch on, um, which we use to turn off or turn on our light. So um, that's basically uh, all about my introduction about uh, the structure of polymer today. Do you guys have any question? Okay, thank you very much.